Enjoying your vacation, Mr. Wang? Oh, it's going all right. I could use another Mai Tai and some sunblock, though. Well, if you can rouse yourself from your leisure, I have further use for your skills. What's going on? Some assholes are cooking up back alley shade in the slums. Oh, that's horrifying. I need you to put a stop to it. For the, uh, children? <laughs> no. To show them that no one sells shade in my territory without getting his ball shoved down his throat. I think I can handle that. Hey. Yeah? You, uh, know where I can get some shade? I'm partial to oak trees myself. <laughs> Cut the shit. I know you're selling. All right. How much you need? Uh, four hundred? Shit. You serious? I only got dimes. You want more than that? You gotta talk to the chef. The chef? The guy who cooks the stuff. That's what he calls himself. And where could I find him? He doesn't really like visitors. Look, I got a lot of cash on me. I'll make it worth his while. All right. Tell you what. You head down that alley, and I'll tell him to come see you. Cool? All right, cool. See? That's how a master does it. Oh my gosh, I am so impressed. You're like really young and hip and streetwise. Can it. I need to focus. So, which one of you guys is the chef? Hand over the cash, or we gave in your fucking skull. <sighs> I should warn you, this is a terrible idea. Fuck you! Not in the face! Son of a bitch set me up.
Hey, shithead! Long time no set me up! You wanna end up like your fucking friends? Uh, I'm sorry. I thought... You thought you'd tell me where the chef actually fucking is now? Uh, yeah. He's up that way. Don't tell him I told you, okay? He's gotten real... weird lately. Yeah, I think you have bigger things to worry about. Like, say, never running into me ever a fucking again. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. Hey, I'm nothing if not accommodating. The Ten Crack Commandments? Number four, I know you've heard this before, never get high on your own supply, huh? Mr. Wang, I trust you have good news for me. That depends on your perspective. What is that supposed to mean? Well, his next of kin probably aren't thrilled. The local vultures are delighted, though. Wait, is that some sort of idiotic way of telling me you killed him? Ah, uh, yeah. I thought it was pretty o- You goddamn moron! I told you to deliver a message, not slice him up. I didn't want him dead, I wanted him on my fucking payroll! I'm not so sure about that. He was pretty far gone. Don't tell me my business! If I want someone killed, I'll say so! Why didn't you tell her about Biggie? Shut up.
Hey, I've been meaning to ask you about these swords. Yes? You say you made these? These are Tamagahane steel. You don't just make Tamagahane steel blades. You don't, but I do. I apprenticed for 20 years, and each sword takes me around six months. You spent two decades learning this? That was a quick study. How did you find a master sword maker willing to take you on, given your, uh, you know... My non-traditional skin color? Yeah. I learned from my grandfather. He was a traditionalist, but was able to overlook my background, given the complexity of our family history. Do tell. My grandfather was the last surviving member of the Masamuni clan. Is that so? And let me guess, your uncle was Kaiser Soze? Believe what you want. I am who I am. Ha! <sighs> I've heard that one before. I think it was, uh, Yahweh. Or was it Popeye? I always get those two mixed up. Your disbelief is reasonable. My family was a living ghost story. They forged the Nobitsura Kage. If you believe that sort of thing. Believe it. Brother, I own it. Now, who is telling tall tales? Oh, I got it right here. But it's not what it used to be. No? I used it to... kill a god. After I did that, it began shrinking. See? Fascinating. Does it have the powers from the stories? It did. Little hard to wield now, though. Unless you're Mighty Mouse. What if I told you I could fix it? I'd say that's the third most unbelievable thing you've said during this conversation. Let's see... Oh, dear. I don't have the correct scrolls here. They're in my grandfather's library. If you retrieve them... I will see what I can do. Oh, don't worry. Fetch is my favorite game. I'm not telling you how to live your life. If you're in the neighborhood, check it out. Or don't. Whatever you say. the ugliest thing I've killed today. Sound like a racist, but all you demons really do look alike.
Looks like someone's been through here before us. Wow, they really did a number on this place. Looter's gonna loot. At least we got this diary. Consolation prize for the old man. Guess you're not getting your sword back after all. Oh, I'm getting it back. But the instructions... Were stolen. All I have to do is steal them back. How can we find who took them? Well, we can start by tracking down whoever put these tags up. Huh. Smart. Eh, try to keep my intelligent moments to once per year. Get ready for a tsunami of stupid. I'm afraid there's not much left of your grandfather's library. It is unfortunate. That's it? You lose a trove of priceless, irreplaceable documents, and it's unfortunate? Who can say what is good luck and what is bad? I try to remain unattached to any single outcome. Wow. I bet you're fun in Vegas. Anyway, there was a particular piece of graffiti all over the place. I think it might be connected to the looters. I will let my students do some digging. I thought you weren't attached to any one outcome. My fist will be attached to your face in a moment if you continue being impertinent. Understood. Let me know if you find any leads, sir.